Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WooCommerce video series. In this video, we will see how to add the floating cart button on your WooCommerce website. We are going to try two different plugins to add the floating cart on your WooCommerce website and both the plugins will be free to use. So let me show you an example of floating cart. Here I'm on the shopping page and here you will see this floating cart button in the bottom right corner. Now if I click on add to cart on any product, it will get added to the cart and you will see the right side shopping cart is opened automatically. I can close it from here. If I add another product, it gets added to the shopping cart. If you want to see the products in the cart, you can click on this floating cart button and it will show the products in the cart. So instead of going to the actual cart page, you can simply click on this floating cart button and it will show all the products that are in the shopping cart. And you can also remove the products directly from this shopping cart. So this is one of the best features that you can add to the WooCommerce website. So let's see how does this work. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So I'm on the dashboard of the WooCommerce website. In this video, we are going to install two different plugins to add the floating cart or the fly cart on your WooCommerce website. And both the plugins will be free to use. So you can install any one of them. So let's start with the first plugin. So I am on the dashboard, go to plugins and then go to add new. Or you can also click here, add new. Right now here in the search box, type in fly cart for WooCommerce. So search for fly cart for WooCommerce. Okay, so this is the first plugin, WPC fly cart for WooCommerce. So we are going to install this plugin first and you will see the second plugin here that is XT floating cart for WooCommerce. So we will install this later. So let's go with this WPC fly cart for WooCommerce. Click on install now. Click on activate. All right, so the plugin has been activated. Now let's go to the website and let's see the default layout of this plugin. So let me first go to the all products. I already have some products in the cart. This is a dummy website. Now here you will see all the products. If I click on add to cart. Now here you will see this floating cart. So whenever you click on any add to cart, it will show the product added to the cart. After that, here you can go to cart, checkout or continue shopping. So click on continue shopping. And this is the floating cart here in the bottom right corner. So if you click on it, you will see the shopping cart here. So from here, you can see the shopping cart. Now here you can remove the products directly from this cart. One by one, you can remove the products. And here you will get the option to undo also. So I'm going to remove all of them. So this is one of the best features that you can add to your WooCommerce website. Now let's see the settings of this plugin. So I'm on the dashboard again and here you will see the option WP Clever and this is the fly card. So click on it. So these are the basic settings. You can see that open on Ajax add to cart. So whenever you click on add to cart, it will open that floating cart here automatically. The same one here open on normal add to cart. So whenever you click on add to cart, it will open the box. This is the box, the shopping cart. Now reverse item, yes. So if you want to reverse the item, then you can use that. Let me show you. The first item added is beauty spa salon. Now let me close it. And let's add this one, the mug. Now you will see the recently added is at the top. If you want to reverse, if you do not want to reverse, you can simply click no. Now overlay layer, if you hide the overlay layer, the buyer still can work on the site when the fly cart is open. So here the fly cart is open, I can still scroll on the website. If I click outside, it will close the box, the cart. Now use perfect scroll bar, that was inside the cart. So if I 
add few more products you will see the scroll bar also here is the scroll bar is it's scrolling now here you will see that the products are scrolling so that's the perfect scroll bar okay position where you want to position center to the right to the left so i am going to select to the right now right now it is on the center so you can change the position of this fly card effect do you want to show any effect so it is on set it is set to yes so i'm not going to change it color background so what is the style right now it is set to color background and you will see this color if you want to change the color you can change the color however i'm not going to change it this one looks good to me if you want to add a background image you can select background image and it will show the background image instead of color background okay now these are the basic settings that you can change according to your own woocommerce website close button you want to show this is the close button yes link to individual products so whenever someone clicks on this one it will open in it will open the product open in the same tab or you can open in the new tab all these settings are very basic and you can play with them and you will understand the basic settings item price do you want to show it yes item data hide subtotal coupon you want to show the suggested products i'm not going to make any changes here because these settings are perfect to me confirm remove no so if i click on remove it will ask me whether you want to remove it so i do not want that message again and again reload the cart undo bubble now position bottom right so this is the bubble so this one and right now it is set to bottom right you can change that position to bottom left top left and top right okay now these are the icons so this is the icon for the cart you can change this icon you can choose any one of them hide if empty so if empty it will hide otherwise it will if you select no it will always show there now do you want to show this in the menu i have it selected to yes so i already have one cart here but that comes with the default layout the default theme so i'm not going to show this here so let's see uncheck it okay now let's save the changes now let's go to the website and let's go to all products so you can see that i have it removed from the main menu bar if i click on it you will see the floating cart the shopping cart is now on the right side earlier it was in the central portion of the website now it is set to the right side so if i add this one it will show it in the cart i can remove from here and here is the button so these are the basic settings now let's go to the plugins and install the other one let me first disable this one so i have deactivated the wpc fly card for woocommerce plugin now we are going to install another one okay now let's go to add new and search for the same plugin again fly card for woocommerce Okay, now here you will see XT floating cart for WooCommerce. Click on install now and click on activate. Okay, so the plugin has been activated. Let me remove the cache and refresh the page. Okay, here you will see the button again, the floating cart button. This is from the XT one. Now, if I click on it, you will see this cart here. So this is the basic layout of this plugin. I can remove it from here. So let me remove all of them. Okay, so it is empty now. Now, when the cart is empty, you will see that the icon is not there. Now let's see the settings of this plugin. Here you will see XT plugins and floating cart. So let's go to this one. Now these are the basic settings. Let's go to general settings. So they do have a pro version of this plugin. Okay, so these are the settings. Now here you will see force Ajax initialization enable leave it as it is lock page scroll when active so when it is active it will not let you scroll through the page so if I add to cart and 
the cart is active i am not able to scroll on the page so i need to close this one and then i can scroll now this is the cart loading spinner so that's not really important here spinner color so these are the basic style settings global colors so this is the background color you can change the background color let's say this one whatever color you want you can change text color let's make it black dark black that already is so you can play with the color settings this is the success color okay now card settings overlay color where you want to show this one in the bottom right the triggered card position this is the position bottom right you can change the position bottom left top right just so i'm going to leave it here offset is nothing but this positioning of this card you can change the position from here you can manually change the position these are the pro settings you cannot make changes here trigger settings now how do you want to open this if you click on it it will open and uh, this is the other option if you move the cursor it will open i am not clicking on this icon i'm just moving the cursor and it will open so these are the basic settings product counter position this is the counter you will see the counter here so where do you want to show the counter top left top right let me show you okay so top right bottom right bottom left okay these are the pro settings so the cart header and the other settings here the divider okay so you can check the settings and these are pretty basic settings and the other settings are only for the pro version so you cannot make any changes here so let me publish it we have made some changes so i'm going to publish the changes and refresh the page so you can see the changes that we made here so in my opinion i think the wpc fly card for woocommerce plugin is better than the xt floating card so you can choose any one of them if you like xt you can install that one if you like wpc fly card you can install that one so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools if you have any questions please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video thanks for watching quick tips